I would like to ask you what makes this pilot unique and different from the rest of the Tunergy pilots. Yeah, in our pilot, we have the focus more or less not only to the household but also on the grid. And the specialty of our pilot is that we look and we measure the whole subgrid. So everyone which is located into the subgrid is somehow a participant in our project. So you can't escape if you want that. In a world desperately seeking for sustainable solutions, a pilot project in a small German town could become a beacon of innovation. How can local communities take a prominent role in the energy transition? Hello! Not everybody has the same information about how you can behave uh, against the climate change. Uh -huh. Uh, and it's easier when you have a um, uh, kind of a bigger group. It's, it's maybe easier to do it in a group than do it everybody for himself. Uh -huh. Yeah, you, you have this um, power of the group. The biggest change uh, through the Trinity was the village car, the shared car. And uh, that was really new for us here in the village um, and uh, the other point is that um, you have kind of smarter or more intelligent uh, informations at which time you can use or you can uh, better use uh -huh. uh, for example uh, solar power or wind power this is uh, the special part of our pilot, it is the community shared car. And it is a special car because with this charging station, we are able to charge and discharge the car. So we can hire our renewable energy sources uh, here directly in this community. Also, ich finde, das Beste daran ist, wenn ich hier in das Dorf reinfahre und sehe, ich fahre mit dem Auto mit Sonnenstrom und kann den Benziner stehen lassen. Das ist für mich das Schönste. Also ich fahre jetzt seit einem Jahr dieses Auto und ich finde das richtig toll und bin froh, dass ich das oft mieten kann. Also ich habe gelernt, dass man die Sonnenenergie nutzen soll und dass man dadurch äh, viel einspart und dass es dadurch auch besser wird und dass man eben mit Sonne und Wind. Which kind of technologies do we have here in the Hallendor pilot? So uh, mainly we got equipped all the participants with uh, smart meters, so they are able uh, to see their demand and now. Uh, the smart meters are uh, transferring the data to the digital twin platform. So Johannes, how do you envision the future of Hallendor in terms of energy management? So energy management is very important towards to uh, complete renewable energy transition. And I think that energy management will be have different levels. So there is a level inside the house where every household manage the energy which is bought and the energy which is produced by their own PV system and all of the bigger energy consumptions will be managed by a single system. And outwards from the grid side there's also energy management which will give different prices and very very flexible tariffs to the households in order to make something like a, an orchestra of the different houses in one subgrid. So this is an aerial view of our pilot Hagedorn. And now I'll show you something about our electrical wiring. We have a very um, medium voltage line which comes and goes in here and this line is for the whole pilot, which is the whole picture. We have next to our transformator station, we have a storage which is used by the whole pilot. Hmm. 
And for example, when all of our photovoltaic systems, which are marked now in blue, for example, this is a solar roof, mm -hmm. when these PV systems are creating a lot of power during the sun, all of the energy flow goes in the direction of the transformator station, like this, with the purple lines. And now with Trinity technology, we charge our battery. And now the sun goes down and we have uh, night times. Then the energy flows, turns around, and the energy flows from the storage back to the houses. And in that way, we can use the own created solar power also in night times. And this kind of orchestration of all the houses is scalable towards to the to whole cities and to whole areas. And then we have a chance to use extremely much energy when we have renewable energies and try to avoid using energy when we have uh, only fossil fuel energies. And this is very important and without energy management this is not possible to achieve. I think it's, it's, um, it was a, a, a big step in, in case of learning for the people. So our participants, at first they gain knowledge, which is very important in this times. Also we have the energy crisis at the moment. And the second one is they got technology. Of course they can use all of the Trinity apps all the time they want. Um, and they can use a community car, which is very famous in our upper pilot. And uh, one of the stuff which is located to every household is something like a smart plug or a smart meter. So that every participant has a possibility to see in every minute or in every second what is the energy which I use now or what is the energy which I feed into the grid when I have an own PV system. So the cake is ready. We, we used the energy from the wind turbines for this one. But I think the main learning is in the hands of the participants. They learn about energy, they learn about how technology can support the energy change from more like fossil fueled energies to renewable energies. And um, these learnings have a lot, of, a lot of to do with some kind of uh, of uh, fears you have before. The energy transition will not only be a matter of corporations and governments, it's also about communities. It's about every single one of us taking and claiming action. Energy in Hagedorn is a small-scale example of how we can all contribute to a more sustainable energy future.